George Sindel and I'm back again and I'm here to show you why I have a hard time with what some of the people are teaching people out there. Now, I'm going to read you a few things and then I'm going to take some words out and I, I will try to teach you a lesson and then you'll understand where I'm going. Okay, how was the earth created? Scientists believe. That is what I got when I typed in how is the earth created? Scientists believe. Okay, they don't know. Okay. There are no samples of the Earth's core. The information about the core comes from seismic waves and magnetic field. It is believed to be composed of iron nickel alloy with some of the other elements. The sun glows because it is a ball of gas and a process called nuclear fusion. It is taking place at its core solar radiating. Earth's core geochemi geochemical studies indicate it is unlikely to be a significant source of radiogenetic heat. The sun and the earth both have north and south poles and magnetic fields. Mars and Venus do not have significant magnetic field worthy of attention. Jupiter's core is unclear. Venus, a partial liquid core, is likely. The theory predicts Venus is molten at the center. Hydrogen is likely incorporated into the core. Okay. Now that I've read those few things to you. Okay. It all sounds good because it's because it's spread out the way things are worded and the way that they're spread out. But the words that I stopped on, scientists believe it is unlikely, it is significant, it is unclear, the theory predicts, likely incorporated, use seismic waves to determine, and it is believed. Okay, now we're going to use those concepts that they teach you. I'm going to use the same concepts, and we're going to go. We're going to go here. Okay, we're going to go to the toilet. Okay, nobody can see what's in the toilet because the toilet lid isn't lifted up. Now we're going to teach. Scientists believe there's poop in the toilet. Is it unlikely there's poop in the toilet? Is there significant poop in the toilet? It's unclear if there's poop in the toilet. 
The theory predicts there might be poop in this toilet. Poop is likely incorporated into the toilet. I use seismic waves to determine if poop is in the toilet. It is believed there might be poop in this toilet. Now, after all that, because I use those simple phrases and words that they do to teach people, did anybody learn if there was poop in the toilet? And this is what I'm talking about. And why am I using the toilet? Because it's called a shitty education. This is how you learn shittily. All the things that I did in, in, the, in the small education that I just tried to educate people with, I used those words. And I used them in one sentence after the other. I didn't have it spread out like they do. But when you use those, it is unlikely, significant, unclear, theory predicts. When you use those, you don't know is what is what they're telling you they don't know but they're not saying they don't know and I'm going to leave it at that but I'm going to keep making more videos for people to understand this stuff because there's more stuff I'm finding it doesn't make sense and the problem that I have is when you learn like that, when you learn like that, if someone messed up because they think it is unlikely, unclear, or not significant, when they do that, they're not sure. So if they're not sure, and it's actually not what they think it is, then they're wrong, and you're learning the wrong way. And I'll leave it at that.